First of all, obviously, we've been seeing rising interest rates for the past several months, spiking most recently. How is that affecting developers like yourself? Well, I mean, today, the condo markets, the housing markets are overbuilt in most areas of the country. And whenever you increase rates, you kind of reduce the affordability issues, and therefore, you limit your market. You have a smaller market you're selling to. And in a soft markets, you want as broad a market as you possibly can. So those rising interest rates will certainly have an impact on the number of buyers and what they're looking for and what they can afford. And your borrowing costs as well as a developer. But as a developer, I mean, they're really marginal. We're still at pretty low rates than what we're used to and what the jobs probably been projected. But And today there's just so much available capital today to real estate from alternative sources. The ability to get capital for real estate, those rates will not impact developers. So all if they have right. money, they're going to build. Okay. <laughs> but you talk about softening markets. Manhattan is one of them, especially on the high end. We're seeing prices down in the double digits. Right. Is that rising interest rates or is that SALT, the state and local tax well, deductions? I, mean, I think that certainly has an impact. You know, people haven't really felt it probably in their pocketbooks yet. But certainly I think, you know, the, the smart, really wealthy people understand what's coming. And the question is, you know, I think they're looking to see what happens out there. People are hesitant. They're on the sidelines. Will it so get worse in Manhattan before it gets better? It, it, it could because there is a lot of supply. So therefore, from the standpoint of, you know, being able to sell and people know they have a lot of alternatives and there's no really rush to buy today. I mean, I think we'll change all that with Hudson Yards when they see what we're selling there because it's so unique. <laughs> And it's nothing like any other product in the marketplace. And I was going to say, you have both condos and rentals in Hudson Yards. Yes. Will this help the rental market, though, which we're seeing The rental market, up? you know, has been really strong across the country today. Because I think today people are, uh, young people especially, would rather buy, would rather rent than buy. I think that all goes back to the housing crisis when they saw what happened to their families, you know, in 2008 and the dislocation that that occurred. And I think we, today we have with the younger people, more of a, a desire to rent than buy. So is New York City overbuilt, in your opinion? I think right today, I think you could say New York City is overbuilt. You can. Yeah. And with Amazon, you know, we can't not look well, at that news. They're coming in, though. That's going to be 25,000 potentially yeah, new workers. Yeah, but that's over a 10-year period. And, you know, the amount of jobs that New York produces. I mean, it really shows you, one, that New York, how great a city it is, where, where people want to live, where they're really... They come to New York, Amazon, why? To find great talent. Corporations only survive by being able to attract the best talent. And certainly New York is and the place where most millennials like today, as you can see, that the demand is great. The city is growing. And I think Amazon is here to really capitalize on that. Do you wish Hudson Yards was on the east side, though, a little well, closer to Long Island City? I, I like where it is. I mean, okay. I think it's, you know, I think Hudson Yards will change the way people really look in New York. We're creating a live, work, play environment in, 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 an, in an environment that's never existed before. You know, I like to say it's New York, as New York should be.